G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, and welcome back to Demolishers Only. All the zombies are Demolishers, but I do have some good news, that's some pretty bad news, I do have some good news, I'm almost back home, I've been riding throughout the night all the way back from my desert town all the way out there and oh there's a free loot bag right there not that i have the space to grab it but i'm almost back to my old digs i have today and then the morning of tomorrow to get prepared for the next all demolisher horde night and i have so little idea of what i'm going to do for that, that i'm just going to throw some shit at the wall and see what's stickiest but i think the best option is going to be to build some sort of like uh, obstacle course, like build myself some shelter and some cover rather than a traditional horde base. It's still not a great plan, but it's the best plan I have right now. So that's going to be my goal for today. The sun's only just risen. I'm now cucumber because I don't have that buff anymore. There's my old tradie and the crater field that I've left behind. In fact, that's something I need to take into account. Now that the demolishers have such a bigger explosion radius, they set fire to things so bloody far away. I don't... Look at the dots. Look at the dots down there. Oh. <laughs> Just, it's fine. Just a horde of death. Just cruising by. Easy as you're bleeding like. If you're already bigger and had some propellers on the back, you could sell tickets for a couple of grand. Um, I don't think I should nor could fulfill my plan in this paddock anymore. I think that may have sailed. Speaking of cruise ships, then I might have sailed given that if it does, someone does explode out here, it will burn down my house. So I might need to think of something better to do. I've taken care of both these demos just outside my house. I can now open the drawbridge and get my bike inside. Come with me, please. It may, it may not be much of a wall, but it's a wall all the same. You are spitting out smoke. I need to repair you pretty bloody quickly. Oh, it's good to be home. Good to be back in the plum trees and gum trees of the old outdoors. I've got a fair few things I do need to go and sell to trading, but it's going to have to wait at least a little bit. The first thing I need to do... Ooh, I left a lot of things crafting before, didn't I? Bloody bonza for me. Wrong thing. That one, please. Grab all of you. I'll chuck on you to save myself some time. That's smart cricket. Tw uh, 25 minutes for another 700 concrete. That's all of the stones. We're also... In fact, how much how much cobblestone do I have at the moment? Chuck you guys in and organize that. So I've got 2,100 cobble. I've got 2,000 concrete. That's pretty balanced, but I'm making another 700 concrete out of you, which means I'm going to need another, like... 700-ish cobblestones. Sean, whiz bang you up. Beautiful. You can go into them. I've got a lot. I've got so much ammo, dude. So much 762, which actually come to think of it as well. You, 762. I can now bulk craft it. I've got a box of APs. I need bullet tips and bullet casings. I might need a second forge to do that. And maybe I need to stop selling all the brass. Mm. No, wait. Because money gives you more brass for your buck than brass does. I think that's right. That's what people keep trying to tell me. So I'm going to try and read and listen and learn from the comments for once. I will need a fresh forge if I quickly grab a log. A fresh forge to make my ammo in. But I'm also going to need to get the sniper rifle. I have everything that I need for you. going to take seven minutes to craft. So I'll put you on after the forge. But I'll, I'll go like that, I'll go like that, I'll go sniper rifle, and then I'll go make the rest of that cobblestone. Beautiful. Oh, that's going to be such a good time. I'm so excited for you. I've grabbed all the things that I think I need to sell. I've modded up oh, basically none of it. No, I'm going to leave you behind then. All the tier sixes is going to get left behind. I don't have a sugar butt at the moment anyway. You're worth quite a bit of cash. If I find some sugar butts, I might sell everything anyway, but I probably will regardless. Don't want to have to worry too much about min-maxing. I'm more concerned about what tradie ooh, might have to offer me. My bike is pretty cooked, but should be right for a quick little hop over to tradies. It's, it's blowing smoke. It's billowing fumes. Out we go. No demos out here. In fact, wasn't there... A loot bag out here somewhere? No, it was back on the way into town. 
Okay, that's fine. That's that's fine. My inner loot goblin is never satisfied. Always check the vendos first for some sugar bars. Beautiful. Thank you. Eye candy. No jailbreakers. I might actually take the rock busters. At some point, I am going to need to do some mining. I'll take the uh, jailbreakers too because I don't have that many lockpicks. All right, knackers. Great to it's see you. Trader Hugh. Can I see your inventory, please? You've got a pumpy, you've got a magnum, a dubsy, a steel spin. <laughs> I may have already moved on from that, but I might actually look at buying. Oh, the, oh my god, the ammo is expensive. How about fucking nah there, cobber? Six and a half grand for 150 rounds? Absolutely not. <gasps> you do have the four times scope schematic, though. I'll absolutely be taking that off you. I'll buy the puller tips as well. Cement mixer. Oh, we've got two cement mixers. Anything else getting me fizzy? Glue, duct tape? Not really. Lens, spotlights, cobblestone, concrete. No nail gun? No nail gun. Better things to do than stare You're a pillock, you are. All right, well, real then. I'm going to grab you. Chuck in the minty fresh breath. Thank you very much. Sell what I can and buy what I need and then get back to home. I really need to focus. I need to focus on getting myself that horde base built. <laughs> I don't want to leave it to the last minute again. It was a disaster last week. I've bought everything that I need from him. Thank you. That's right, I'll actually check what jobs you have while I'm here. Got to fetch and clear us down the road. You've got... Is that going to be my house? No, Opus, just, no, I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. After the nightmare that was the start of this week, I'm not risking that at all. Getting trapped in a big industrial zone? Oh, but you might... I just ran through that door, but that's okay. You might actually give me a nail gun for doing it. Which means I might actually go for the bigger one. The fetch and clear. Assignment Almeida residence. Okay, we have a deal. I mean, that might work out better for me. It looks, it's a residence, not an industrial park. So that would be better for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it's risky, I know. Oh, actually. I mean, if I need someone to build some sort of like obstacle course to try and like break up the zombie pathing and slow them down a bit. There's a nice paddock here. It's far enough away from my house, but not that far away from my house. With all sorts of hay bales and fences and things. This might be a good little spot. I'll come back to it. That's not a bad idea. In fact, I'm going to mark you like this. I'm going to go like, where's the, that one. I'm going to go question marks. Maybe, maybe that could be the go. I don't have a better spot for it right now. So I'm quickly going to just going to open up some of these pipes to chuck my ammo making forge into you. I hate that you can't move a forge once you spell things in. Like you can spell everything out again, but... It's just a little bit more difficult than I'd like it to be. But I would like to rearrange my house. Assuming I survive tomorrow night, I uh, will hopefully have an opportunity to do that. Get you out of the way. Oh, the new sniper rifle is ready. I'm ready to put that in my hands and stroke it for the rest of the time I'm here. Which, I mean, now that I have that, maybe slightly longer. But you're going to chuck in you immediately and actually you're not doing much at the moment now i'm kind of leaving all the iron and stuff in there until i can um get my crucible get you smelting get that uh get that in i reckon chuck in like half but you know what? i'm gonna put you like that i'm gonna sh it's nine thousand dollars should be an awful lot of brass i bloody hope so chuck you in like you here's like 20 minutes, 25 minutes of fuel. There you go. Chuck the candies away. I need to get out of here quick before the screamers show up. I did also bring, uh, I also bought rather, uh, a water filter so I can get an extra dew collector outside. I'm a thirsty boy. I need it. Built a whole extra little extension to my little balcony out here. Perfect for you. Chuck you in like that, please. Which way are you facing? Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do. There you go. Just like that. So I've got my... Oh, it's one block too wide. Can't have that. Can't have that. Aesthetics matter. We can't have our precious balconies been on the piss. Get rid of you. Take rid of all of those ones. Oh, get rid of all those ones. I've got a little plate on the outside holding up that balustrade. So you can go... Wait on. Oh, that was a lag spike. That was a lag spike. Is there a demo screamer coming in from somewhere? There bloody well might be. That looks a bit better though. Chuck you in. That's all symmetrical. Symmetricality is the most important thing in the world. And you are done. 
four times scope more. Bloody bonza. I'll grab the mods out of you that I might need. Thank you. Let's have a bit of a whiz bag at you. 94.8 compared to 80. Such a big jump. I want the four times scope mod. Cripple them. And I can have an extra mod in you as well, which is going to be not the suppressor. Not until I get all of the urban combat books. I'm going to chuck you in instead. Let's have a gander. A proper Hansel and Gretel. Purple accents. A proper... I was going to say ACOG. <clears throat> A proper ACOG. Ugh, that felt gross to say. Whatever, a proper four times scope on the top. Wonderful, can zoom out as well. Got the bright, nice chevron in the middle. Nice, all right, yeah, I'm happy with that. I've modeled up that lever action to have the eight times scope and suppressor and a bipod so I can use you later if I want to do some nighttime sniping, which is probably a terrible idea, but oh well, it's kitted out if you need it anyway. Get rid of you, go back to regular blocks and quickly just make sure you're Cooking along nicely, because I need some casings, please. I forgot about that. It's the clay. It's the clay. It's not the bloody lead. I do that every bloody time. Uh, I'm going to leave you how you are. I'm going to chuck you into them. I have some bullet tips, so casings are more important. Okay. Well, no time at the present then. It's almost midday, and I haven't done anything I wanted to do today. Oh, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I got the sniper rifle. It's always a good day when you get a new weapon. I'm expecting the ranges on Horde Knight that I'm fighting at, like the actual like battle range, to be so much shorter. I might actually whack on. Remember what the reflex side? It has that stupid, gigantic bloody pergola over the top, which I hate the thing. Maybe we're just like the two times scope mod. This is the joint onto the uh onto the sniper rifle, because that's a little bit too zoomy. I think for Horde, there's going to be a lot of running around and panicking on Horde. Oh no, not straight down. That I think, oh this is such a bad idea, that I think going with the two times might save me a little bit more. I reckon though with parkour, I reckon I can get back up and out of here if I really need to. I'm going to put you in the corner, so I do actually have an escape route, but I might even go a little bit smarter about that and use a ramp block instead. Just lowers the distance that I have to actually jump by that one. So even with parkour, I should stand a better chance. Hell, oh, oh, hold on. I've just started the quest. I can't go get you anyway, but you're not too far away. In fact, <laughs> You're basically right next to my house. Beautiful. Thank you. What I was going to say. Yeah, see, what I was going to say before that drop came in is I can see a red, uh, a green reflection in the window. And that would be one. That would be one. Sats. Didn't quite hit any of those next shots. Finally got one though. I was going to run. I was going to run. Why would I run when I have the brand new sniper rifle? I'm using like a bloody battle rifle. Scrap you for the brass. Gonna start keeping my brass. Thank you very bloody much. I'm wearing the wrong goggles, but that's okay. I'd rather the extra damage. Especially when like getting up and out is such a hazardous journey. Being able to drop them like that. Sniper rifle was a good bloody get. There's some more coming. Oh, I'm a little bit trapped on the curtains. And you're now trapped in the afterlife. Oh, he got through. He got through nice and quickly. Shot from the hip. It's risky, Josh. You don't need to be taking risks like that, but I'm just feeling the vibes at the moment. It's more of the vibes of the thing, like the bleeding Australian constitution. Anything else in there? Anything in the loo? Nothing. Medical supplies, nothing. A rolling toolbox, though, with a vent in the floor. Oh, it looked sus. It looked sus to me, but it's fine. I can hear tippy tappies. There's a demo upstairs, but it's good. It's good. With the, with the rifle in hand. I'm, I'm trying to get cocky, but I'm feeling good. I can see some demo feet. Free feet in 2024. You wouldn't bloody read about it. I'm going to put it around straight through your kneecap then. Wait for you to stand. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. Shit, there's got to be some more. Oh, I missed the follow-up shots. Look at the difference, though. Having 12... Oh, I could put an extended mag in you. Oh, that would be such a good idea. Having 12 rounds in the mag, not five in a tube, is definitely a good thing for me. I'm still so nervous being in here, though. Chuck in the mineral water. Can of miso soup. In you go as well. I just love... In fact, I've got to do it. I just love to have... So, oh, 
uh, some sort of way out, you're way stronger than I'd like you to be. But if I get stuck in a pickle, I need to be able to open the jar and just escape that little bit. There's a demo. you yeah, just there. Don't use power strokes. Regular ones. Sats only use... I <laughs> bobble him around like a bloody tennis ball. No, a ping pong ball in a loo. Grab you. Frothy is a murky water. Thank you. I'm going to try and be as quiet as I can for a little bit while I'm on ground level because I do not want... Ooh. In fact... Ugh. <laughs> Brother, ugh. That's horrendous loot level. 75 even with the goggles on. Garbage. Absolute garbage. While I'm on ground level, I do want to try and not draw in any attention from outside if I can at all avoid it. Get you guys bleeding if I can. So you're up. Oh, I'm hoping it'd be a little bit slower. Finish you off. You're not quite dead yet. That was all power attacks. But when I get my stamina back for murder, murder, set it like it's bloody hot fuzz, then I'm not too concerned. Some nice ornaments under the stairs. This is a fancy ass place. I feel like there needs to be a way to name your weapons. I mean, look, I mean, I get attached to inanimate objects like it's a pencil and someone's giving me a demonstration. I'll get attached to anything, but like, I want to name this thing. This thing is so bloody good. I want to call it like Demo's Bane or something. Full like Skyrim spec, give it a name, a personality and pretend like it's my friend. I mean, given everyone's dead already, I don't really have a whole lot of choice for friends. So this is going to have to do. You in here? Ooh. Yep. And yeah, I was going to say, I feel like there's been one in the cupboard and I was right about that. I'm going to close that door because you're coming through the other way. Oh, that was a risky shot. The snapshot as I pan to the right. Made a bloody work though. See, fucking demos, Bane. What a gem you are. Absolute gem. Here's another one. Cop some Bane in ya. I need to get out of the room. I need to get out of the room because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was pretty sure I've pissed off one of the demos from outside. Okay, knackers. I really hope you're not a screamer demo. I really hope you're a bloody screamer demo. Sat you down immediately. Maybe you're just the Uber Eats guy. Is that my Big Mac? My Big Mac, my chocolate thick shake? I shouldn't say thick shake already because everyone's a little bit thick these days. There's a whole lot of C's. Uh, loot dogs are on. Check the loot bag for... Ooh, not too bad. Better than what I'm currently wearing. And I think actually going to give me an extra mod slot, which I'm always frothy about. Oh, I lied. I lied. No extra mod slot. Never mind then. But you did bring me a snack. It's not quite what I ordered. I have to resist the temptation for the first time of my life being the cool guy at a party. Do not jump off the roof into the pool. First of all, you'll break your neck. And second of all, no one's here to even witness it. So what's the blood of point? Oh, missed it. Got that one. I was going to say the other guy is probably waking up. Dude, the four times scope is so much better. Like, yeah, like the eight times scope does have been so much more. And that's great for some things. But for things like this, actually going raiding... The four times is just so, so much better. I can actually see what I'm shooting at and not be basically inside a demo's face. Is there more? Definitely more. Gonna wait for you right at the door. Oh, there's, there's a lot more. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. There's a lot of dots. A lot of bloody dots on the compass. Gonna come over here so they have to run directly towards me. Even take some extra shots while they're lining up. Missed that one. Come on, Sniper Off. This is your bleeding moment. I'm wearing the wrong goggles for it because I was bloody getting greedy with the loots. You're done. You guys are going the long way. Put one through your legs so I can take a shot at you on the deck. That was some smart fucking cricket by you, Woodle. Until I ran out of ammo. That's fine. He'll come upstairs and join me again. You're gone. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I said not to jump off the roof into the pool. Now look how gooey your legs are. You done fucked up, AA demo. Get fucked. I'm really hoping that was like the big bad fight and that's going to be easier from here on out. No one else hiding in the loo. Nah, we're fine. We'll take the polymers. I don't need the rotten Vegemite Sanger. Take the murky waters. Ooh, any tailored jackets for me? Nothing. Already have my uh, athletics jacket, but always interested to find some extra things. There you... Oh, no, not there. Oh, no, that's the clear. Where's the supplies then? 
The supplies are on. Oh, they're right there. They're just outside the window. All right, that's fair. There's still the gubs down to the pool I gotta go get as well, but I want to make sure that I had everything before I did. Grab you. Thank you. Now, this is the last couple of zombies, and we're ready to rock. I'm real nervous about what's gonna be waiting for me up here. Okay. <laughs> We're good. So that was the big bad fight then. I was nervous about the ceiling. I thought there was going to be a whole other wave, but now nah, we're fine. Like you want, I'll take duct tape. I might actually break you down for some electrical parts. There's the loot bag in the pool. Back to tradies. Where's the loot room actually? The whole reason I'm doing this is to hopefully try and find uh, a nail gun. Ooh, loot room. All right, nice. Ah, uh, there's the key to open the door. And we go back downstairs. Bloody beautiful, that is. I've got three lockpicks on me, so I'd really like this to go nice and quickly, please. Come on. This, you can give me nothing else but a nail gun, and I'll be stoked. I forgot, though. I said that out loud, and the game's definitely heard me, so now there'll be no nail guns to be fair. Everything's open and ready to go. We're going to start with the desk, just in case. Thank you for the coffee beans, but no thank you. going to try to be, like, gracious and appreciative of everything the game wants to give me, so it thinks I'm in a good mood. Scrap both of you for the iron. Uh, structural brace. I don't think I have any space for you anywhere at the moment, do I? You can probably squeeze into that one. There you bloody go. Lab equipment box with... Not a lot of the paper, but thank you anyway. Bookstore box with not the needle and thread book that I need. And an armor crafting book. Last couple. Weapons bag. Knives, machete parts, and the last big bad box. No nail guns to be found. No nail guns to be found because, of course, there's bloody knots. There is, though. The bag's still in the pool. Dropped loot with... Scrap you, scrap you, take you. All right, well, let's go to Trader. Maybe Trader will give me that as a reward and it'll all be worthwhile. All right, Trady, please be nice to me. I've been very nice to you. I've done what you asked of me. steve has given me a new treasure map. I'll scrap you for the iron. I don't need one bit of wood on me. The rest of that can all stay. All right, nice and fast. Please give me a nail gun. Please, 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 please. It's the only thing I want, the only thing I need. I'm wearing the XP goals, which is good. Steel. No nail guns. No nail guns. I'll take you. Why couldn't you? Why couldn't you just be my friend? Why couldn't you just be my friend for once? Why do you have to be this way? Why are you the way that you are? That's a pretty thick and heavy and weighty disappointment, but that's all right. I'll grab this drop before I. Oh, it's in the prison. Before I uh, head back home, I was supposed to be building a horde area today. I think it was worth the gamble to potentially get myself the uh, the nail gun, but wasn't to be. Chuck on the loot and, ooh. A tier five POI with a supply crate. It's the Navas Gang County Jail. Ammo crafting bundle. Some fluids, some ammo, scrap you. Couple of baked spuds as well. Delicious with some sour cream, get that indium. I'm gonna take those things home and open them back there. If you want to can I get more drops in a tier 5 POI, please? Raise that loot level. Like, what is it? What bloody is it when I'm standing here? It is only 87. The pine forest loot level is shit. Make sure I have those casings on the craft. It's going to take not half an hour, please. I'll take 26 minutes instead. All the way up to get yeah, you. Beautiful. While you're doing that, you can have the rest of that lead as well. Nice. Craft you. Leave you going. I still think... Selling brass is the way to go. It gives me a thousand dollars. I wonder how much. I wonder how much brass a thousand dollar redos gives me. Maybe that's the key. I might have to go and do some experimentation or something to figure out exactly what the ratios are there. But I'm just trusting the comments blindly at the moment, which is always a foolproof idea. You can have the rest of that lead as well. In you go. All right. What are you giving me? The skill books. Assault rifle crafting and make a quality 5 AK. I'll keep that in mind. Armor crafting and wiring. I can make a tacky boy. A tacky boy is probably better for me than the AK is. We also make quality 2 iron armor. All right, fair enough then. Some casing, some bullet tips. I can scrap you for the lead, but the rest, that's actually pretty handy. Lovely. So the stuff I got from that ammo crafting bundle, I can start cranking out some AP 762s. It's just the bullet cases letting me down. I've got a fair bit of gunpowder, actually, all said and done. 
Grab you. It's going to take six minutes to cross. So I'm going to quickly get out of here. Jump back on the bike. That way's the way. And uh, go and start clearing out that field out there. Because I... I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything that I wanted to do today. I wanted to get some horde base prep done, all sorts of prep done, and instead, I gambled on a nail gun and still completely failed it. And now I just left the house without my hammer. Great. So, right, I can get started clearing out the land, though, because all this has got to go. I can leave, like, any sort of boulders and stuff, but trees are going to get out of here, too. They might provide me some cover, but I'm more interested in them just being able to see the demos. If I can't see them, I can't avoid them. going to get rid of all this corn as well. And actually, yeah, this is a good idea, because look, I'm not too far away from my famous, my famously foolproof backup plan of the passing gas over there. So if this all goes tits up, like it's, it's probably going to, let's be honest, I can run back to there if I need to. My biggest concern though is, like last time I was over there, I was winging mollies around like there was no tomorrow because there very nearly wasn't. And I did clap a couple of nips, hit them square in the pointy part, like it's a bloody cold winter's day. So, I mean, it's risky, it's risky, but maybe over there, as long as I can take some cover, because the key is not gonna be to run away, the key will be if I start beeping, to run back into the middle of the building and let the concrete building absorb the explosion and not take it square on the chin. Yeah, it's all it's all about cover. It's all like getting into defilade. I've cleared out the whole paddock. It's just like all the shrubbery on the ground now. We'll get you out of the way so it's all nice and flat. So what's the play? What's the best option here? I actually think, because I do have the hoppy boppies, like I'm the stripey thing out of Winnie the Pooh, uh, what's the level for, for parkour going to be? Agility level six. So if I can get two more skill points, I can get. Does that give me an extra jump? Chris, say fall by four meters and never get a broken leg when falling. So it's only max level that gives me two meter jumps. Oh, sorry, three meter jumps. I already have the two meter jump. So if I build a bunch of like two meter high walls, I can get over it like that. What if I what if I make the paddock into quadrants then? If I go right down the guts like you and right up the guts like you. Oh, and hide from that. Definitely hide from that. Let them pass. Don't pick a fight. Your sniper rifle's great, but I really don't want to fuck. Really don't want to have to deal. They're coming right for us, and this time it's legit. I'm gonna go over here and hide in a bunker. And just let them go. But if I make like a cross, right? If I make, I'm just gonna watch them leave as I explain this. If I make a cross right up the guts of the paddock, I can jump over that wall, but the demos can't. They're gonna run around the outside like trailer park girls. If I do that, and then maybe perhaps build an elevator platform in each corner, so they have to like they can go up, and I can like line them up with my AP ammo and get that penetrating headshot. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's kind of like a mix of uh, of horde bases. Oh well, shit's real late. Of horde bases and um, what am I, what am I trying to say? Horde bases and an uh, obstacle course. I'm too distracted. I'm too in my own head trying to figure out what to do here and worry about those demos. I'm not even paying attention to words. Not that I'm good at words to start with. So by using the trader wall over here, that pillar there looks to be the center of everything. So I think that's where my wall should be. Do I want to go one thick or two thick? I can probably actually go two thick because then I can use the walls themselves as a, a not, not, a, not a corridor as such, but like out as a way to path the zombies. Especially if I potentially make it a little bit taller in some places, maybe even so oh, I could build archways. I could build archways over the top. Fuck over the top of this. I'm going. I'm going. It's way too late. And no, that horde's coming back my way. But if I build like, you know, like a Roman aqueduct, right? Archways all the way through so I can jump up and get through and cross the other side whenever I need to. And I can have an elevator platform above that that I can go up on top of and kind of like get two birds with one stone, two dips with one delicious corn chip. That'll work. That'll work. Never built an aqueduct before, so it's going to be something new and hopefully something effective. I really don't think I need this hole in the roof anymore. That was how I was getting up onto the chimney to do my sniping, but now that I have the balcony out here with my uh, water gatherers, I can probably just chuck in 
a ladder on that side, and that will do exactly the same job all the way up to the tip of the top like that. Yeah, I'm going to plug this hole. I'm going to plug this hole, and with all the new various uh, blocks we have available, I'm thinking, in fact, is there going to be... I wonder if there is. Are there windows that go on that kind of angle? I know there's a hall that tomorrow night, and this probably isn't the most pressing matter, but... Aesthetics always matter. Doesn't matter if there's a horde. I'd rather die leaving a nice base intact for some other survivor to come and live in rather than someone showing up at my old doors and being like, what kind of mongrel built this whole bunch of nonsense? It's awful. Good reputation to consider here. Nah, there's not. That's just a ramp window and there's no wedge windows in here that I can see. That's a little bit upsetting. Uh, that's a little bit how you're going. A bit of a question mark, but it is what it is. I guess I might need to... If I potentially... Maybe I can get, like, actual glass blocks and replace that, like, that way. What's it going to take to make glass? It's sand. It's silica. You. Glass. Glass block. You need sand. You need lead. You need clay. I might... <laughs> I mean, it's probably a waste of everyone's time, but I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. You can go back into them. We're going to need some more bullet tips, please. Another 110. You need some extra frame fuel. There you go. So it's about to tick over midnight. There are some things that I want to do around the house that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil. You're gonna have to see that first thing tomorrow. But yeah, I'll, I'll just make this place nice and lovely. So assuming I survive tomorrow or not, I have somewhere good to come back to. But I'll hopefully come back to this place in the next episode. Oh man, because Horde Night is in the next one, and that is going to be heckin' bloody dicey. But I'll have to come back and roll those dice in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.